All right, thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to view this short video clip. This video is going to be about what's called glossophobia. Are you familiar with that? Glossophobia. Glossophobia, or fear of public speaking, <laughs> is a very common phobia and one that is believed to affect up to 75% of the population. Some individuals may feel a slight nervousness at the very thought of public speaking, while others experience full-on panic and fear. Which one of those are you? What causes fear? Fear is a feeling induced by perceived danger or threat that, are, that occurs in certain types of organisms, which causes a change in metabolic and organ functions and ultimately a change in behavior such as fleeing, hiding, freezing from perceived traumatic events. Now, what, sign, what are signs of speech anxiety? Speech anxiety can range from uh, a slight feeling of nerves to a nearly incapacitating fear. Some of the most common symptoms of speech anxiety are shaking, sweating, butterflies in the stomach, dry mouth, rapid heartbeat, and squeaky voice. There are four reasons for fear and nervousness, and these are four common internal or worries. These are internal fears. That's fear of being nervous. As Roosevelt said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. <clears throat> Number two, fear of being judged, worrying what others will think of us. Number three, fear of going off script, get forgetting your words. And number four, fear of large audiences. Here are some helpful, actionable tips that you can try the next time you need to calm down. Number one, breathe. Take deep breaths in. <sighs> clear, your, clear your wind system, right? Number two, admit that you're anxious or angry. Number three, challenge your thoughts. Number four, release the anxiety or anger. Number five, visualize yourself calm. Number six, think it through. Number seven, listen to music. And number eight, change your focus. Now, the six basic fears are, number one, fear of poverty. Number two, fear of criticism. Number three, fear of ill health. Number four, fear of loss of loved ones. Number five, fear of old age. And number six, the fear of death, <laughs> as you can imagine, right? But the point there is a lot of times we um, fear things that really we shouldn't. It, there's really no uh, reason for you to fear that you're really not in danger other than the fact that you're internally processing something that you're making up in your mind and probably won't happen at all. Or if it does happen, it wouldn't have an effect on the outcome of what you're doing, right? <laughs> because let's say you're, you're giving a speech and you make a mistake. You make a mistake. People make mistakes, especially if you're beginning this process, right? If you're beginning to speak at different venues or in front of different crowds, you're gonna make mistakes. That is part of it. You're not gonna be perfect every time. You have to become comfortable with that. You have to be able to learn from that mistake you made and correct it so that the next opportunity you have to speak, you don't take that with you, right? You don't go into this audience talking about, man, I did this last time. I sure don't want to do that. And then you'll be focusing too much on that one mistake you made and you'll make another mistake, right? And then another. And then that could sway you. That could, you know, take you away from your game. You don't want that. You want to be able to, okay, I'll keep it moving. Right? Because a lot of times what happens is your audience is not really aware of what you're going to say. They don't know that you made a mistake unless you kind of give them an indication that you made a mistake. Right? So if you did make a mistake, keep it going. Keep going. And before you know it, you're back on track. And then, then you can edit out <laughs> whatever you uh, made a mistake at 
when you present it to the media rather than just that audience, right? It's just done all the time. The point I want you to make or uh, take away here is that speaking will be a revenue generator for you if you can position yourself that within yourself that it's okay to speak and it's okay to share information with audiences and sometimes very large audiences, right? And the more you're able to do that, the bigger the reward, right? And, and that's one of the ways that I look at it because, you know, it's about generating a profit, right? Now, especially if you have a business. So if I speak in front of 10 people, that's going to be a profit, but it's probably not going to be the biggest profit if I, as if I speak in front of 1,000 people, right? Boom, there it is. All right, don't forget to share these videos, like these videos, and thanks for watching these videos. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule.